Now to the wild weather. Check this out in Chicago, just north of Addison and Lakeshore. A roof starting to blow off. There you see it in the midst of that big storm that rolled through here. That's just how powerful those winds got. Let's check in now with Mary Kay. Mary Kay. And we saw this system take shape in Iowa, Brad, at noon and track right across Chicago. Look at these incredible wind gusts, 92 mile per hour gusts in Lee County and Dixon. LaSalle County, Cedar Point, 91 mile per hour winds. In Lincoln Square, we had a tornado warning at one point, 85 mile per hour winds were clocked. Plainfield, 84. These are hurricane force wind gusts. DeKalb, 75. And at Navy Pier, winds were at 72. And in Park Forest, high winds gusting up to 70 miles per hour. So many storm reports of the damaging winds of hail that reached an inch and a half in diameter and even reports of tornadic activity. We had several warnings, but one that we were interested in was in the Rogers Park neighborhood. And this was just after four o'clock. This video was shared with the National Weather Service. So they are considering going out maybe to assess the damage and take a look at it. And also we had reports from a, a storm spotter of a funnel cloud in Crest Hill just north of Joliet at about 345 this afternoon. This storm raced right across Illinois. Now storms are moving into Ohio, so they are on the way out. And as we move through the night, we expect just cloudy skies going into the night, but gusty northwest winds. That's going to generate risk of rip currents, dangerous swimming conditions at the Illinois and Indiana beaches as those waves will build two to six feet. We'll talk more about that and the change in the weather by tomorrow afternoon coming up. We've been tracking the severe weather reports on social media. We received a lot of them. This is from Twitter. This is Jasmine in Logan Square, a tree across the street, across Haviland Avenue, blocking her as she tried to get around today. Storm damage reported by Jenny in Rogers Park. You see the sign bent over by winds that gusted between 60 to 80 miles per hour across the area. A lot of damage reported. This is North Riverside. Windy electricity went out there. Uh, we get reports from that area as well. And Lucas reporting on this tree that came down in a van, a minivan, shortly after he got the tornado warning on his phone. This is at Wrightwood in Lincoln Park. So some samples on the social media uh, severe weather reports we've seen. Finally, this is Long Grove trees, big trees down up that no match for the storm that came through. We had numerous reports of trees down power outages as this line of severe storms came on through. Back to you, Erica. Thank you. A fast moving storm ripped out a tree right out of the ground in River Grove and sent it tumbling onto a house. Neighbors posed for pictures underneath the huge uprooted tree. The high winds toppled the steeple of College Church in Wheaton and scattered debris all over that property. And in another area, a tree landed on a car. You can barely see the vehicle under the pile of leaves and branches. No word on any injuries there. Damage was reported as far as South Holland. Fallen branches blocked trees and streets and left sidewalks and walkways unpassable. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is live in Rogers Park with more tonight. Charlie. Erica, we are in the middle of the street here at Jarvis and Ashland, and this is what the scene looks like uh, in many neighborhoods across the city and Rogers Park. Uh, under these trees, there are cars in many places. Uh, we've seen street lights knocked out. Again, these trees down is widespread. We've also seen uh, downed wires just going across uh, intersections here. The cleanup very much now begins. As the heavy rain and wind ripped through the center of the city, Damage rippled further out, snapping massive trees in Waveland Park, making easy work of this wooden fence. But I was over here on a red light, and I just see the sign just slowly start coming down. I'm like, what? No way. At Mike Anderson Chevrolet in Portage Park, the steel display toppling over. Pieces of the sign thrown across Irving Park Road. Nobody injured. Well, if somebody was definitely coming down that, that lane right as it fell, they see his injury. The cleanup of piled on trees, bringing neighbors out. Just trying to do our part, help out. Clearing a path on this block near the Dunning neighborhood. So you could just hear the whoosh of everything, the trees, the leaves and everything, and then the cracking, and I just ran through the house. I told my daughter to grab our little one, and down we went. Now we can't even really get inside of our house because of all the destruction. These women forced to watch as the storm sent trees onto their home. We stood by the window and we were just looking and then a tree came falling right skid our windows. We grabbed the dogs, the cats, and we ran to the basement. We realized afterwards that our cars are right there. So Adriana Zalani's new car didn't stand a chance. The windows are all 
cracked. The sunroof that I had to have is cracked through um, glass everywhere. It's a great feeling to see everybody come together. No agendas, man. Everybody just come together and help. Now, something else that we are keeping our eye on, I've been in contact with a resident on the 7300 block of Ridge that's over in West Rogers Park. She says there they're not only dealing with down power lines, with power outages, they also don't have running water there. It's an apartment building, she tells me, with about 70 units there. Uh, so we will continue to press ComEd and the city on that, which she describes as uh, clearly a potentially very dangerous uh, situation given the combination there. We are live tonight in Rogers Park. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Charlie, thank you. Down trees and power lines are keeping ComEd crews very busy tonight. Right now, they're trying to fix more than 5,000 outages, affecting more than 560,000 customers. No word yet on when they expect to get all of the power restored.